my name is Natalia and as you requested last week in the polls, I'm going to show you a very special kind of storage, which is this book chest here. I painted it white because I want to look more statuesque or sculpture-esque, but if you prefer to just see the books as they are and not paint it, do that. I just feel like paint hides all the mistakes or blemishes or the wrong cuts, so that's why I also prefer the painted version. It's a very beautiful piece to have at home and it doubles as a storage, so what's not to like? You can add as many books as you want and actually in the end of this video I'm going to show you how long it took to hollow out a book with about 300 pages. Did it take me 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour to do it? <laughs> Stick around to the end to find out. Now I would love to know what you want me to create next, so be sure to vote here in the poll above and let's just begin. But first, subscribe to this channel if you want to see some of these kind of DIYs in the future and remember to hit the bell button below so you don't miss out. So let's just begin! Oh, but before we begin, I forgot to tell you this last week. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a brand new feature on this channel, which is the community tab. I often post pictures or polls or really anything I want to share with you, so it's a really great place for us to get to know each other better and to really connect. So be sure to check out that community tab and let's just get this video started. Now we need to glue the sides of the book together, so create a mixture of water and glue, and then paint all of the book's sides. And do this with all of the books you've chosen for this project. Now with all of the sides painted with the glue mixture, you need to place a heavy object on top of them, like a giant book. Once the sides are completely dry, measure 2 cm inwards into the book from each end, and then make a mark. Then measure 1 cm on the side closest to the cover of the book, then 1.5 cm on the edge of the book, and then create all of the lines. But if your book is smaller than 20 cm, measure 1 cm into the book from each side, make marks, and then create the lines. Now let's start cutting. You're doing it wrong! Sorry, what? Do you want to ruin your hand with a tool like that? No. And you are? Never mind that. You only have one hand. Save your hand. Use the proper tools. Okay, you're right. I will. Good. I'm watching you. Okay, so like it said, use a tool with a better grip so it don't ruin your hand. Cut inside the lines you created and then remove the pages as you go along. Give the corners special attention and cut more intensely. This will make it easier for you to remove the pages without ripping everything apart. Repeat this cutting and removing pages process with any book you've chosen for this project. Once the books are hollowed out, we need to cut one of the covers to make the chest deeper. So sketch around the insides of the book and cut it out. Now I chose to hollow out four books which means that I've also cut the covers of the two middle ones. So depending on how many books you have, you need to cut the covers of any middle ones. But before gluing the books together, you need to take the glue mixture from earlier and then brush it all over the insides of all of the books. And then leave them to dry completely. But then put some glue all over the edges of the middle book and then attach it to the bottom book. Continue gluing the layers together until you reach the top. Glue the final book onto the rest and then place a heavy object on top of them, like the giant book. Now leave the whole thing to dry completely and once it's done drying, you can either leave it as it is or you can paint it. And if you want, you can decorate the lid with a piece of fabric, some stickers, paint, something sentimental or some other thing that you find decorative. And that's it! The book chest is complete! But wait! How long does it take to hollow out a 400 page book? Well, here's your answer! How long do you think this is gonna take me? Leave a comment down below! Did you say 10 minutes? Nope, not correct! 
Did you say 15 minutes? Nope, not correct. Did you say 20? Nope, still not correct. Did you say 25 minutes? Close, but not close enough. If you said 29 or 30 minutes, you're absolutely correct. It took me almost half an hour to hollow out a 400-page book. I kind of ruined the back a bit, but that's easy fixable with some glue. I hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you did. And be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And if you want to see the upcoming videos in the channel, you need to subscribe and be part of our lovely Tinker family here at the Tellos Toolbox. So subscribe, and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!